Let's review for the park test. First off, relax. We've done this all year and you are 100% capable of doing awesome. There's three types of writing tasks for the park. There's a literary analysis task, which will compare and contrast literary elements across two stories. The research simulation task, which will prove your claim based off two to three readings and possibly a video as well. And the narrative task, which will write a story based off information that you learn from a story. It's also important to remember, there's no such thing as a one paragraph response on the park. Whenever you see a box like this, it is 100% always an essay prompt for at least five paragraphs. Make sure to type your answer in this box and to use the text to guide your excellent response. The first type of task that we'll review is a literary analysis task. In this task, you'll read two literary stories and compare a component about it across two texts. This component may have to do with the perspective of a character, the decisions the characters make, the theme, or something else related to fiction. Your response will focus on answering the prompt and using evidence from the story. Remember, after you use this evidence that's relevant, you want to explain it to prove your claim is correct. So, for example, you have read the passage from Boy's Life and Emancipation, A Life Fable. Write an essay that identifies a similar theme in each text and compares and contrasts the approaches each text uses to develop this theme. Be sure to support your response with evidence from both texts. From this, you could see you're focusing on theme, which is a literary and fiction component. For the research simulation test, you'll first read two to three texts and possibly watch a video on the topic. With information from the text and video, you'll develop a claim or support one that's given to you by using textual evidence and supporting it in your explanation. Your response will focus on relevant and strong textual evidence and an explanation that supports your thesis, which is your claim. For example, you have read two texts and viewed one video that claim the role of Zeus is to protect animals. Write an essay that, that compares and contrasts the evidence each source uses to support this claim. Be sure to use evidence from all three sources to support your response. Then right here, you can click and use all three sources. Notice you're given the claim, but after that, you have to choose whether or not to support it. For the narrative task, you'll read a narrative text, then write a story. To do this, you need to use information you've learned from the story and then expand upon it. For example, you'll need to use the same characters, setting, conflict, writing style. Sometimes you'll need to use what you learned and then change it. For example, you may need to shift the perspective of how a story is told. Over here, you can see, in the passage from Magic Elizabeth, the author creates a vivid setting in two distinct characters, Mrs. Chipley and Sally. Think about the details the author uses to establish the setting and characters. Write an original story about what happens when Sally arrives at Aunt Sarah's house. In your story, be sure to use what you have learned about the setting and characters uh, as you tell what happens next. Notice you need to use the characters, the settings, put them together to make sure it's kind of like a chapter two. It follows the story that we already have. So if you're worried, don't be. Like I said, you're completely ready. The park might seem like a big scary test, but you'll do great. As always, follow these steps to make sure it is easy for you. Read the prompt and analyze what it is asking you to do. Remember in class when I said, this is exactly like when you have an interview? If you already know the question, it makes it a lot easier. Read the article and story or stories and highlight information that will help you respond to the prompt. Organize your thoughts, know what you want to say, and write. So here's some useful park tools. The park has a bunch of tools built into the test that will help you earn a high score. With your knowledge and these helpful tools, you'll become the park champion. We will take some looks at your major keys to success. First off, you have the notepad. On the screen right here, at the top page in the center, you can click on the notepad logo. This will allow you to take notes as you read, which could help you answer the prompt. You also have the answer eliminator, which is found right here. So this answer eliminator, by clicking the logo, then the answer choice, it'll put an X over the response. 
That way, you can eliminate the wrong ones and leave the right ones, making the answers easier to complete. You also have the highlighter tool. When you hover, hover over a text, then click on the text, you can pull and highlight it. By clicking on the text and highlighting it, you can organize information and find it easily. You have two colors to highlight in, which are blue and pink. You could also bookmark your questions. If you have a difficult question that you'd like to come back to, you can click on the bookmark right here. When you're done, it'll leave a logo right there. This way, you know that you can return to it when you have extra time. When you have multiple texts, it's important to look right over here. If you click on one and then the other, you can scroll through, which is especially helpful when you need to find a specific piece of information in a text. When you're watching a video, you can navigate it in several ways. After you press play, look at the bottom. You can pull the video to specific times to watch. Especially, you can see right here in the question, it asks about 47 seconds. You'll have to pay attention to that. The notepad is especially useful in this. You record information and the time you found it at. Also, as I said before, remember those essay boxes. There's no such thing as one paragraph responses, so make sure you put five paragraphs right here. So, all in all, it's important remember to relax, you know everything you need to know to succeed, no, not to procrastinate, this is the evil SpongeBob, and you want to focus, as long as you focus and try your best, you'll do great.